so hello everyone this is ankit shivare and today we are going to solve problem number 4.5 so this is question number 5 again differential amplifier on the pedal so we are just going to start with the problem that i have some talk uh, today pujara is all nice very efficient man wonderful player get to watch his match so enjoying this is after the today and his whole day was spent just watching the cricket man it was very nice a lot of patience we need and really pujara hats off to you man okay come on so coming to the problem a differential pair uses input almost twice the w battery ratio is 50.75 and it's a current of 0.1 milliampere right so you have been asked what is the equilibrium overtake overdrive voltage of each transistor so you know that 1 milliampere current is passing through this right so this is the current sink so obviously 0.5 milliampere and 0.5 milliampere it pass through these two transistors right So overdrive, we know, right? The formula that under root of two I do the beta, and I do we know that one by two beta, and we just know that this whole thing is overdrive voltage, right? So from there you can extract this whole equation, and you know that for the, all the problems we are taking we are taking six point one three four milli ampere per volt square, and W value is hundred. So I do is one milli ampere, so this is ISS. So this is point five milli ampere only for current circuit, right? So don't make these silly mistakes, right? So point. Twice into 0.5 and 0.234 milli into 100. So this is comes out to 0.273 voltage. So this is the overdrive voltage that you are going to get, right? So first solve, right? Second part is how is the real current shared between the two sides? If V in one minus V in two is 50 milli ampere or 60 milli volt, so it's some mistake that happens here. Okay? So please get mistake. So V in one minus V in two is 50 milli volt. So it's suppose this is this is at higher, right? Because this is positive quantity. And this is little lower, so so suppose uh, this is 0.45 milliampere is passing through it, so 0.55 milliampere will have to pass through it because this is total is one milliampere, right? So this two sum should one milliampere. But since this potential is higher, so obviously this current will be more, and this current will be less, little less, right? So you have been asked what is that value? So you have to calculate it by this second order equations that we have, right? So I D one and I D two you have been asked, and you know that some mission is about one milliampere. So how we can solve that? So since we know the sum, if we know the difference, I D one minus I D two, we can be able to calculate I D one and I D two, right? Because I D one plus I D two we don't definitely it's one milliampere. There is no doubt about it. That is the real current, right? So I D one minus I D two we want to know. So if suppose we know want to know I D one minus I D two, that we can write as I D one plus I D two whole square minus four I D one I D two. That is the same as I D one minus I D two whole square, right? Because I D one minus I D two whole square is what I D one. Square plus I D two square minus two I D one I D three, so I just add minus four here, right? So automatically it will become the same. Now I D one plus I D two we know that it is I S S whole square, right? Minus four I D one I D two. So I D one minus I D two is what under root of this value, right? What is V in one minus V in two? So look, this is V G S one, right? This is V G S two. So if suppose you want to let V in one minus V in two is the same as V G S one minus V G S two because In this case, V G S one minus V G S two, the source potential is getting cancelled, right? Because what is V G S one? V G minus V S one. What is V in two? V G minus V S two. So minus minus that sum, so it will cancel. So you can write down that V V in one minus V in two is nothing but V G S one minus V G S two. So as we assume that the threshold voltage of both the transistors are matched, in that condition, we can write down V G S one minus V T S is under root two I D one by V T one. That is from the earlier equation A part. And similarly, V G S two minus V T S is the same, right? Now uh, we have been known that W battery for both the transistors M one and M two are same. So V T one is V T two is V T S. Pressure voltage V L P minus two is same. If this is the case, then we put back this in this equation V G S one minus V T S two this, and we square it up. So we are getting this minus four I under root I D one I D two, right? Now we rearrange this equation, so we get four I under root I D I D one I D two as Two S F minus beta. Okay, so don't forget these simple, simple terms, beta and all. Right? While solving, we make these mistakes. I also have made mistakes at some time, and it's because two days that where I miss the terms. Okay, so solve properly. So two S F minus beta, V G S one minus V G S two whole square. So this is new equation, right? And I D one minus I D two. We already have that minus two. This under root I D one I D two, right? So here we were having this four under root I four I D one I D two. So we want to replace this quantity to solve because we know I S S. If we know this quantity, then our problem is solved, right? We know I D one and I D two then. So 
resolve it put this equation in second equation you will get it addition minus ad is under root of as is square minus lambda 4 on root cube when you solve it you will get is uh, addition minus ad is this term b10 by 2 b minus b into 4x by b10 minus b minus b into whole square to the power of 1 by 2 now you know this b minus b into is 20 60 millivolts right and as is 1 milli ampere b10 is 0.164 milli into 100 so you substitute here so you will get id1 minus id2 that is the value you will get and when you put id1 plus id2 and id1 minus so this id1 minus id2 when you solve you get is 150 micro ampere right so definitely you can get now id1 id1 is what 0.5 milli plus some value plus delta id okay id2 is what 0.5 milli minus delta id because this is an integral number right so we can have this id1 and id2 from that so second part is solved now we have to solve the third part so let's just move to the third part of the equation. So this is problem third part we have to solve, right? For the same equation. So question is what is the equivalent GM under this condition? So we know that equivalent transfer inference of the circuit we should calculate, right? So the definition is what? Of transfer inference is delta ID by delta of delta V n. Okay. So we know delta ID is what? B ten by two delta V into four as by V ten minus delta V n whole square to the power of one by two. This equation we got from the second part, right? So now we differentiate it because that is the definition of transfer inference. So when you differentiate it, you will get because this is the first part, this is the second part. So differentiation of first part, second term as it is, differentiation of second part, first part term as it is. So that is how we do differentiation, right? So when we differentiate delta v in with respect to delta v in, we will get one. So we will have the second part as it is. We have taken our beta and my two as common. Then first part as it is, then se definition of second part. So n, n, this nth term will come here, so 1 by 2. This whole term, 1 by 2 minus 1, so the residual minus 1 by 2. Then differentiation of this delta v in whole square, so minus 2 delta v in. So this derivation, I think, the differentiation you should be able to do it, right? So when you solve it, you get this term finally, that is b10 by 2, 4 raised by b10 minus 2 delta v in whole square, whole divided by again this 4 raised by p10 minus delta v in whole square to the power 1 by 2 ok take plus and minus signs appropriately ok you may make mistake there in that so delta v in you get is given as 60 millivolts so when you put this delta v in because this term is having 1 milli ampere this is b10 is you know 0.13 milli 4 milli into 100 so when you solve it you will get this 3.61 milli ohm inverse so this is the value of transmitter that you will get of the circuit now fourth part of the question is for what value of v in 1 minus v in 2 does the gm drop by 10 percent or and by 90 percent so two values are together for gm okay v in minus v in 2 defines how much you should have so the gm you are getting is for 50 millivolt is this much it should drop by and in the other part it should drop by 90 percent okay so for the first part gm so gm is this value that we have right so b10 by 2 4 as by b10 minus 2 as delta v in whole square by under root of 4 as by b10 minus delta v in whole square so this is the definition of gm now what we are doing we are substituting a as 4 as by b10 so this 2 gm by b10 2 gm by b10 we are calling it to be b and a is 4 as s by b10 this whole term right so when you substitute here so what we get is b is equal to a minus t twice of delta v in whole square whole divided by a minus delta v in whole square to the power of 2 because 2 gm by b10 square is b right so we have squared this term and substituted here so when you solve it you b is so rearrange this term here so a square plus delta v in to the power of 4 minus 2 a delta v in square and this term here so now delta v in in terms of a and t when you put we will get this term okay so now we are taking the minus sign difference okay because delta v is very small quantity it's not large quantity so it's not all sum so when you take minus this is the value of delta v in you get so now gm is given to you and as is we know 1 milli ampere b10 is we know 0 0.134 into 100 so we can put a and b values so okay so gm for 10 percent will be for 0 0.9 to 3.36 milli so this is the value gm for 90 percent this is the value of gm when you put it back here so delta v in will come out to be 131 millivolts and for this case 372 millivolts so when it would case v1 minus v2 will be 131 millivolts the gm will drop by 10 by 
by 90% and when you have 322 millivolt difference 3 minus 1 is 2 then the gm will drop by 10% so this is the section problem so hope you have enjoyed the video so we will be continuing for the problem sessions thanks for watching take care